so you're welcome to our last session on the data types and here we'll be covering the boolean data type so um mm, we saw the boolean is a set of logical values right it contains only two types of values which is true and false and in matlab the logical true stands for zero and the logical uh, rather true stands for one and the false stands for zero okay so if i say for example x is equal to true to true right that stands for that stands for x one okay so and we saw that here okay the tick there indicates the boolean data type which we can confirm by simply saying class of class of x to give us logical right exactly so um, so ah, we just type x right x equals true and we saw that x gives us one one stands for true let's say y is equal to false or stands for zero but you should know that matlab generally will take even a non a non-zero number will always be true in MATLAB, okay? And uh, a zero number will be will be false in MATLAB. That's the, the standard, okay? Okay. So that being said, how does this? Uh, how are these values generally generated? They are generated when we want to test the particular condition, okay? When we want to test whether something satisfies a certain condition, whether it is true or false, whether it is valid or invalid okay so uh say for example as we saw uh is eight greater greater sorry where's greater greater than five that's true right so if i press enter it gives me one and the answer is one now i can store this value eight is equals to greater than five i can store this value in a certain t in a certain variable okay enter and then it gives me one we'll see more of these comparison operators in a, in a different section okay so if i say eight less than five well that's a very big lie right so it gives me zero t is equals to zero and you can see t here is logical today we want to lay our emphasis on since we've dealt with data type we now have a good platform to test out some built-in functions which generate uh logical data types okay so let's delete the variables we've created so far good so uh that being said let's say i have a certain x is equal to five right and i have y is equal to is equal to the same five but as a character have you noticed what i've just done what i've done is i have placed a semicolon in front can you tell the difference you can tell the difference right if i remove the semicolon and i press enter my lab does what we call echoing the results okay it echoes the results so it gives me back the result of my execution okay it just shows it to me but then if i do it with just the semicolon and let me put this time around seven it doesn't echo the result but then it has executed the command okay so you can see it from here that y is equals to seven now right so it does not echo the result but then it has executed the command this will be very handy when we will go to the editor to write real codes okay because uh echoing the result like that can take a lot of execution time if your code is considerably long right so we want we don't want that so we will be using semicolons so that uh, the result everything has been executed without necessarily being echoed good so we created y is equal to to seven okay uh let me look at creating x of a different class so i will say x is uh, rather not x mm, uh, say t yeah why not would be equal to int eight for example int eight of five mm -hmm. right so that's an integer and then we'll say uh, uh s will be equal to string to double to double okay so converting a string to a double of 
logic you remember that right what's that supposed to give us none so s is equal to none we have our values right here so now let's begin to check in those built-in function i want to know why this not why eh? i don't want to know why i want to know why this why that i'm <laughs> i want to know uh it's why a number that's what i want to know first is it uh a number well there is uh, is float that can tell me that okay is float will tell me whether y is a real if y is a real number and when you see zero it tells you y is not a real number remember i can ascribe the results i can ascribe the result to any variable okay i can ascribe the result to any variable and that variable becomes the answer okay so p being equal to zero as a logic as a logical value tells me that what i've just executed is false okay it's not true so y is not float okay so is y an integer i simply need to say is integer y and is zero so let's try that on x is integer x no x is not an integer right why because it is a double it's not an integer is integer t yes t is an integer it is the int eight value that we created so is integer s no s is not an integer so is integer will tell you whether a particular value is an integer or not let's go ahead and try is sha is sha and uh, let's start with y of course y is a character right you can see it from there the double quote tells you everything okay so these functions allow you to test because many times when you're programming you're using you're dealing with user de defined data okay so you want to check if a particular data is of a particular character type okay if the user enters it differently or you want to to uh restrict the user to a particular kind of character all of these commands are come in very handy and uh, you will be seeing their uses when we will be dealing in different uh, courses with MATLAB projects with specific MATLAB projects okay so um uh, let's try something else is none did you know there was something called is none the good thing about this is there is an is something for almost everything okay so you can check literally anything according to the specific data type that you're looking for so uh, is none uh, why obviously obviously no right right so but it's none s yes okay none so this is what you check to know whether a value is not a number okay very 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 important okay so um, I think we'll end there for now, okay? And uh, you will see these uses mainly when we will be entering branching statements like if, uh, else if, and all the like, and uh, using also the while loop. You will see more of the, the uses of this logical, and there's also a specific way of indexing uh, which uses logical values. Well, you may not understand what I'm saying now, but rest assured you'll understand it as we go along. Okay, so um, see you in front. Bye-bye.